Liz Cooper in the Stampede here in Studio B, live for you today and live for me, and especially live for me. I love watching you. I love watching you all play. You look like you have such a great time, and that's really important, isn't it? Absolutely. I mean, why else would we do this? I like watching you. You're so good. I am. I am, and sober. Isn't that? That's amazing. I... There you go. Cheers oh. to that. <laughs> all right, you all are out in support of Wendo Flowers, your uh, latest album from uh, 2018, which folks have been hearing here on WNCW and will continue to hear. And uh, I was going to ask you, you clearly you know, are a student, Liz, of the uh, culture and the sounds and things from the 60s and 70s. That's in the mix. What else inspires you to write? Um. Anything. I think being out on the road and being on tour, we get to see a lot of different things that, uh, I don't know, you just don't see in one place that you'd be living in. So, I mean, anything could happen, so I just absorb it. It, it, is, uh, it gets crazy out here sometimes, and you just see wild, wild things. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Any, anything can inspire me if I'm just paying attention. Something you just notice, and all of a sudden, yeah. you, a statement comes in your brain, and then it's a song. It's true. Yeah, I've heard several, a, a number of songwriters say that same thing. You guys write too. You write some, yeah. Grant. Yeah, we both write um, our own stuff. Yeah, um, and we also write all of our own parts with Liz too. But yeah, we've we've uh, both been writing for a long time. He is a total rock and roll drummer, isn't he? I mean, if you just watch him, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he is very capable of playing those drums. He, I was a huge fan of his um, old band too, but um, uh, just his bass, his bass parts, his drum parts are phenomenal. Mm-hmm. I have to ask you. You have a. Uh, I, I usually recognize most instruments, even though I'm not a player myself. But I don't recognize your bass. What's what kind of bass are you playing? Um, it's a Baldwin. Okay. Like the old, uh, like the piano company. Mm. Um, they made basses in the uh, mid to late sixties. So that is a vintage. Yes, it's very old, um, and it fell off of a stage the other day, and I got really scared. But um, um, a luthier and repairman in Nashville fixed it up, and it's still, I wouldn't even know that it, that it took a fall. Oh, wow. I see why you love it. It's got a great tone. Yeah, I love this thing, and I just love how quirky it looks for anyone watching on the sure. stage. And the headstock is really wonky, and I don't know, it's just got a cool look to it. And for our viewers at home, Liz, is, are you playing a Stratocaster? No, this is a Creston. It's a Jazzmaster style okay. body. Um, yes, it's very nice. This guy, uh, Creston Lee, he's from Burlington, Vermont, and he makes uh, all of these guitars from scratch. Yeah. Silly me, didn't wear my glasses to Studio B, and you're standing across the room from me. Sorry. Well, that's okay. Very interesting piece of wood he chose that's for that guitar. Yes, I believe it's pine. Mm -hmm. no, it's spruce. It's spruce. <laughs> he he no, got he got the wood from a um he it was a reclaimed reclaimed piece of wood from the um from a barn in Burlington. Oh, okay. And he turned it into a guitar. Pretty cool. Yeah, you can kind of see uh, the stress in it there. It's that's a uh, that's a very interesting th and and I'm all about repurposing things like that. I bet you guys are too. <laughs> She was just sniffing it, yeah. It, uh. There's a hole in it. <laughs> can hear it. So it's a guitar and a whistle. Yes. Or, uh, yeah. or a, a ja uh, you know, blues harp or something built in. All right, Liz Cooper in the Stampede here in Studio B. Would you all like to do another song, and then we'll wrap things up so you guys yes. can get ready for your show tonight? All right. Let's do 